Uh-oh! You know, if you follow this channel recently, you know that I am one of the biggest skeptics of Apple Vision Pro. But I am starting to actually get hyped for the arrival of Apple Vision Pro. But why, Viper? What has you hyped? Let me talk to ya. What's up, people? This your boy, Viper, the man about tech. Back again for the video. And yes, I cannot believe these words are coming out of my mouth. But as the release of Apple Vision Pro get closer here, I find myself getting more hyped about getting my hands on this device. So you guys know that I did pre-order the Apple Vision Pro. I will have one here on release day, February 2nd. But I am beginning to change my tune on what the Apple Vision Pro will be and how I will feel about it. Now, why am I excited? Why am I getting hyped? This video is kind of like a response to my friend Trenton who made a similar video. But I think one of the main reasons why I'm getting hyped for the Apple Vision Pro is because of what it represents for a shift in the technology world. For years, the smartphone, the iPhone in particular, have been the predominant technology in the consumer electronic space. iPhone this, iPhone that, everywhere you go, people will have an iPhone. We have been looking for the next frontier of technology. And I don't know if Apple Vision Pro will be that next frontier, but we know what tends to happen when Apple gets themselves into a new space. When Apple enters a space, they tend to legitimize that industry, that space. Think Apple Watch, think AirPods, think iPad. And even though VR has been around for a long time now, it really hasn't gone mainstream yet. We really haven't paid much attention to it, in my opinion. But I feel like with the upcoming launch of the Apple Vision Pro, there are going to be a lot of people that finally start to pay attention to VR. And with that attention paid, it could bring new experiences to VR that just have not been there yet. Reason why people should actually start paying more attention to VR in the days, weeks, months, years ahead. Stop. Yes, I'm talking to you. You're probably watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel. And you know how I know you're not subscribed because only 11% of y'all are subscribed to the channel according to my numbers. So if you want some more of this Apple goodness, and I know you do, go down there, hit that subscribe button. It's the white button. It's probably glowing right now if you have an iPhone or an iPad so you can join the man about tech. I was on Twitter the other day and somebody was on Twitter talking about an app that they wanted to present for F1, you know, they talked about watching an F1 race while having the track laid out in front of you in augmented reality. And I was literally blown away by this concept. Like think about watching different events and forcing different things like that. You're watching them on a screen or whatever in VR, but you can still implement some type of complimentary piece there in augmented reality in your own space. Ideas like that, thoughts like that, apps like that really, really get me excited about the future of Vision Pro and what it could mean for technology moving forward. I thought about what if I'm wearing a pair of glasses, right? And I'm looking around, I got these pair of glasses that have augmented reality capabilities, right? And if I'm looking at a restaurant, what if I could just look at that restaurant with my glasses and get the name of the restaurant, the menu of the restaurant, the hours of the restaurant, the, the rating of the restaurant, all just by looking at it with my glasses. That is the type of future I envision for this type of technology. And if Vision Pro is gonna get us one step closer to that future, I am here for it. And again, Apple, if anybody can bring this type of attention to AR and VR, it is Apple. But obviously with this being first generation technology, this is just the beginning of the potential tech revolution. A lot of people are talking about how the Vision Pro could be that iPhone moment. I don't know if it's gonna be that big of a moment for VR, given the fact that again, the VR industry has been kind of dormant. Yes, there have been new headsets, HoloLens, MetaQuest, different things like that, but none of them have really taken off to the stratosphere, nothing on the scale of an iPhone anyway, because of the inherent limitation of VR, like the fact that you gotta wear things to your face. You don't really wanna travel with something like that, this, that, and the other. Not to mention there's really no killer app to make VR something that you have to experience. But Again, with Apple entering into the VR space with Vision Pro, this is going to bring a whole new level of attention to VR and AR and what is possible with these type of devices and technology. Now, later on this year at Apple's WWDC conference, they will unveil Vision OS 2.0. And when they do, I will be very interested to see what advancements they have made or will make 
on the Vision OS and the software that will power this Vision Pro headset. I don't think there's gonna be much going on at launch. Yes, there's gonna be a few stock apps like um, I saw Freeform in there, settings on there. There's gonna be a Mail, FaceTime, some stock Apple apps. And also there's going to be over a million iPhone and iPad apps compatible with Vision Pro at launch. But the real sauce is going to be in that presentation at WWDC in June of this year to see just how much progress has been made with the Apple Vision Pro and Vision OS 2.0. But I believe that the future is very bright for this technology. And I believe that if Apple can shine their big light on this industry, it will force more developers to allocate resources to make the experience on Vision Pro and VR in general much more exciting for the mainstream consumer than it has been up to this point. Because again, as I said, VR has not really taken off like iPhone and Apple Watch and different things like that. It's just there, you know, we're trying to uh, make it something, but it just hasn't taken off yet. But with the introduction of Apple Vision Pro, this could be the moment. But let me know how you feel about Apple Vision Pro. Do you believe that this could be the moment that VR has been waiting for, for all its life? Sounds like a song. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And again, if you want to know more about the Apple Vision Pro experience and what it can bring for you, a potential buyer, I talk about it right there.